Yeah, it is. I can feel the wind coming at me. I actually feel the winds beginning to turn in direction a little bit. They were out of the north. Now they're starting to get a little bit more toward the northwest. You, I'm standing on a spot you may even recognize behind me is the uh, casino ballroom here, the uh, the strip here. And uh, right in front of me, a snowbank here. Pretty tall snowbank from where the... I'll try to walk through this. Pretty tall snowbank from where the, the snow plows have been uh, plowing the roads all night long here. Head over to the uh, sidewalk here. And you can see the, the drifting of the snow, sort of the, uh, the smooth angling of the snow right here in front of me that's because of those winds and of course the high tide was last night as well here at Hampton Beach it was at 12:39. Uh, we have some footage of that as you can see there was no major problems with it it certainly was a choppy sea and some of the uh, waves came up on the uh, sides of the seawall here but no real problems there the next high tide is coming up today at 12:54. it's a slightly higher uh, tide. It's about 9.4 f- uh, feet, and uh, that still should not cause major problems, even though the seas will be a little, I guess you could say, angrier uh, because of the storm that's churning and strengthening to our south through the day today. But the winds, that's a key component in causing uh, coastal flooding, and the winds are going to be coming out of the northwest at that time, so that will be pushing the waves back out to sea. So uh, that's what's going on here. The winds have been picking up for sure. We've been seeing them gusting as high at Portsmouth as 28 miles per hour just in the last few minutes, and we've been noticing it here at Hampton Beach. So live here at the beach, I'm meteorologist Josh Judge, Stormwatch 9.